that there is that needs to be addressed. Attention needs to their awareness needs needs to come. People make their uh, assumptions on what they're seeing mm -hmm. and what we're talking about are chemtrails. Yes. And Ken uh, Trails is a big activist yeah. against chemtrails, mm -hmm. and uh, we want to hear what he has to say about them. Right. Well, so so introduce yourself, yourself a little yeah. bit to us. Yeah, let Hi. everybody know who you are. I'm Dennis Krauser. I'm from New Paltz, New York. I'm a retired science teacher. I've taught science for 33 years in the city of Beacon. I'll give a shout out to Beacon. Awesome. Yeah, that was the end. Uh, so, I've been to Cesare, by the way. So oh, yeah, I, he was a superintendent. So I grew up, I grew up down the road from him. He's like a... Oh, wow, oh, small world. Hi, hi, Vito. So, in any case, uh, this camp trail thing. A lot of people, first of all, don't ever look at the sky. Right. And if they look at the sky, they don't look at it for a second. They don't really see what's going on up there. And it's easy to see this in a blue sky, right? And when people see it, they see this white trail coming out of the back of the jet aircraft, and they think that's normal. What they think it is is something called a contract, okay? But let me tell you a little bit about contracts. Okay. In the wintertime, when you're breathing out, you see your breath come out as sort of like a smoke out of your mouth. Or if you look at a car, you can see the exhaust coming out right. of the back. And these things, that's basically what a contrail is. It's, it's okay. condensation of cold air uh, and hot okay. air. Uh, of course, you're vapor. But these things trail right behind the car or right or in front of the your mouth. face. And right. dissipate. Right. And they dissipate very, very quickly. With a chemtrail, there's no dissipation. Uh -huh. Okay, It's just left there across the entire sky. It just hangs. And it begins to expand. And then all of a sudden, if it's happening to be being put up in a blue sky, there goes the sky. It's all white. Can I ask you a silly question? Sure. Is this the same trail that we've all looked up at kids as, as kids and said, oh, a skyscraper? It, no, no. It's not. No, no. This didn't start getting put up there until the 90s. Right, because I could okay. say, because I was going to say, don't think that every plane you see up there is doing this. That's not true, because some of these planes do dissipate rather quickly. As the plane's going up, you can see the trail go behind, but you see the trail dissipate. Right. There are those that don't, and these are the ones he's talking about, that literally appear to form clouds. Well, eventually they do form clouds. Okay. Right. And they're very weird looking clouds. It used to be when uh, you were a kid, when I was a kid, <laughs> there was four different kinds of clouds. There was nimbus, cumulus, cirrus, and stratus. That was it. There's now over 20 kinds of clouds that NASA recognizes. What happened all of a sudden? Yeah. There were all these different clouds. When a cloud forms, it's water vapor that, that, can, that um, attaches itself to dust particles, and that forms a cloud. But now what's happening is because of the chemicals that are in the air, is that the dust particles are gathering around chemicals instead of water. And the clouds that they're producing are very, very strange looking, sometimes really scary looking. And they contain chemicals in them, not water vapor. Right. And then this then mixes, though, with water vapor and are they, are, they, us, yes. are they white like clouds? Do they look, some of them have color? Most of the trails, there are trails that are what are called dark trails, and okay. people are like reporting this all over, and they don't understand how those are forming, sometimes actually in front of the aircraft, not wow. behind the aircraft. Like they're beaming in on this trail. I've seen this myself wow. on a beach in Oregon, and I took videotapes of it, and I was like, what? Uh, in any case, the, the contrail, uh, they've done uh, tests in the air where these things are being deposited. It, it's, a, uh, it's like a cocktail of chemicals. Uh, but it seems like most of the time you can find aluminum in them. Uh, you can find lithium and barium and strontium. And then there are other things that are there as well, depending on that particular mixture that they're depositing. Yeah, but these metals aren't very friendly to no, the body. Not so, uh, I mean, they're, they're not. And, um, and that's where, you know, it bothers us. Okay. Um, and, and again, this, this all uh, relates to so much and explains so much if people really don't even have to give it much thought. You're putting these chemicals in the air. The, the chemicals are raining down into the earth. The earth is absorbing it. 
You are now drinking and eating plant that is being grown. And breathing it. And breathing it. And breathing it. And we wonder why wow. everybody has cancer. Why we can't eat the fish out of our streams and lakes. Why, why these things are impossible to have in a society of which we were supposed to reap and live from the land. We can't take care of the land we can't live. Okay? And if you don't take care of the sky, <laughs> obviously you're so, taking care I, of I had asked you a question earlier about why you think this is. is a question that you said you couldn't answer. But you do have a theory. I, I don't personally have a theory. Okay. I can tell you what other theories okay. are. Some of, them, some of them are a little bit out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm not subscribing to any of those okay. theories. I'm just saying to you, it's happening. Okay. Right. okay. And when it happens and nobody owns up to it. I mean, here's one thing that they could say. We're doing this to block out the sun's rays so we can cool the earth down. And people would say, Okay, uh, that's okay. I can go along with that. But they're saying it's not happening. We're right, right. right. We're forcing ourselves up. Right, right. And that's kind of scary. Oh yeah. Right. The other thing is, if if you actually uh, see the plants, it's easy to see them when when they're spraying. You throw some binoculars on them. Most of the planes are exactly the same kind. They look like old 707 aircraft. Okay. With no markings on them at all, just gray. Gray. Just always gray. I've seen these pictures over Oregon, like you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I haven't seen them. And if you have these little apps that people have on the phone to, to, uh, to point up to an a, a aircraft and it tells you what flight number it is, where it's going, if you point it up to those, nothing happens. Uh, That's yeah. because the transponders... They don't have it. They shut off so it doesn't turn on. It's horrible. So how is this so far-fetched, is, is my point. When people will say, oh, well, come on, who would do that? Well, your government would do that, first of all. Well, just so you know. Let me take this a step further. Sure. sure. This is not just happening in this country. Okay. okay. It is happening all over the entire world. All right? So you've got to move it one level above your government. Well, that's the allegory. That can, the, uh, the, yeah, the allegory that, create, that controls everything anyway. I mean, our yeah. government, as well as everyone else, is nothing but a figurehead. Oh, yeah, there's a very small group of people that are all saying, and, yeah. You know, it's so just yeah. money all over the world that runs the planet, and if anybody is blind to that, then they've been sleeping. Well, well it's not, it's, I don't believe it's your representative government. No, that never right. Right. Yeah. Because you know, who would run for office and then say, okay, start spraying the people that are supposed yeah, to be exactly. Right? <laughs> So this is above that I agree. I mean, you can call it what you want. You can right. call it a shadow government right. or, the, you know, uh, or the deep state or whatever it is. Right. It's a worldwide government that's made that decision yes. Yes. to do this. Right, that's right. It's not done like And that's pretty that's scary. scary. That Very is scary. Not. this problem in four seconds. All you have to do to tell to stop it is to say to the pilots, you're not taking off today. That's the end of it. Right. Because that's how it gets there. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, do you believe they all know what they're doing? Well that's a tough one, huh? I, I think that they could be made to believe they're doing something that's good for society. Right. Uh, you know, when the Manhattan Project took place during the uh, World War II to make the right. atomic bomb, there were hundreds of thousands of people that worked on that project, but they were compartmentalized. They only knew what they did. Right. They didn't know what the next step was. Right. Right. So it never leaked out what was going on. Right. Right. <laughs> These guys could be, you know, told you're doing it for the right reasons, but at some point, I think that they're hearing enough at this point to know that people are really, really pissed off at what's going on. Or and these people are not good people, people that are doing it. Right. And if you're doing it for a paycheck, do something else. Yeah. yeah. I mean, gosh, we'll pay you. We'll pay you to, to, to stop. Stuff. I can't. You know, I just. You know, right. It's hard for me to wrap my head around a pilot getting in that plane, knowing what he's doing. I mean, even if it's a pilot that has no family, oh, you know, yeah. I mean, well, it's good. very difficult for me to wrap my head around. There's a way that they look for a certain pilot. I'm sure. And and not having a family, and we've been able to see this. Uh, I belong to a group, a group called Cantrell's Global Skywatch. has about 180,000 members to it. And once in a while, you get a pilot that gets there and starts telling us about what's going on. 
And there's a certain, you know, type of person that makes it. That they look for. Yeah, you, you're not going to have a family, okay? Right. Uh, and probably just a loner at, at, at best, and this way you can be controlled really easily. And if you do have a family, and you don't do what you're supposed to do, well, then your family's at risk. In danger. Okay, so if you all of a sudden start to feel like, this isn't right, You've already locked in with the devil here. Right. Yeah, everything's run like wow. everything's run like, you know, not to be stereotypical or whatever, because anybody that knows me knows I'm not like a, a Mexican cartel type of, of business. And most of these things are. Most of these underground or or, or things that aren't even underground, that we're underground reporting them out. Point being is that these people look for people that are weak or, or shattered or on the edge or can be persuaded, like you're saying. I mean, yeah. and, it, and it's unfortunate, but... Uh, so they have their own but, betting system. But, <laughs> right. because, and, and that's really true what it is, right? And then, like you say, they profile them. Wow. What I'm told now is they're also retrofitting commercial airliners so that the airliners themselves can spray without the pilot knowing that it's happening. Well, see, this was why I asked you oh. that question. Oh. I think like, the commercial pilots do not know. Okay. And those things, those sprays are controlled remotely when they're all, because there are times when people put that, you know, that app on it because they see it being sprayed right. from a commercial liner and it shows up. And they're like, hey, wow. this is right. This is a commercial liner doing it. How is, how is what you're saying? Right, you? but I, I do not believe that those pilots know what's going on. There. Right. nothing to do with it. Right. But these people that go up in the... In the, in the unmarked ones. Oh, oh yeah. Absolutely. Come on. Why else are you going up in an unmarked plane? Right. I mean, right. you know, listen. <laughs> with your train, my with family your train always train. goes on. Like, <laughs> if, if you're trying not to get caught to do something, you might be doing something wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? When I said to you that, you know, your elected government is not doing it. They're certainly complicit in what's going on. Well, they, they, right. they, they can't help but to be. Well, I mean, I'm sure they're they getting something to turn their to, to, to turn a blind eye. Listen, of course. We all know yeah. everybody answers to somebody. Right. Everybody answers to somebody. Every human being does. I don't care what your title is. The, the last, and this is easy to look up, the, the last speech that JFK made a week before he died was about secret societies. Mm. And he was going to expose the secret societies. Right. He was dead the following week. Yes. Right, right. It doesn't listen. At this, at this point, what we need to do, more and more people are becoming aware of it. Thank and, God. And the people that I come in contact with, they may not believe that it's what I'm telling them, but they know about it. Okay, so it's like you've planted the seed. It's right. like me saying to you, don't think of the word elephant. And right now you're thinking of the word elephant. Right, right. So you've planted the seed in that person, right. okay? At some point, they've got to look up there and, and say, see. this is what they were talking right. about. Right? Right, right. And then the light goes on. Right. And then they start to tell other people. Right. So you need a groundswell in order right. to change this. Some, you need a march on Washington, on whatever. <laughs> Rhode Island is the only state in the union that has banned chemtrails. Right, and here you go. The state is actually banning it, which would make somebody say, yeah, it actually happened. Conspiracy in this whole thing is the conspiracy to tell you that it's not happening. Right. That's so the conspiracy. Why isn't everybody else doing that? Well, why isn't every other state? I want to ask you one question because one, one question I want people to know where they can go, like where can people go to see this information or find this out information? Well, if you, about if, if you Google chemtrail, what comes up is conspiracy theory. Right, right. So right. they've already got that control. Right. But right. if you Google geoengineering, Geoengineering. Now it'll start to talk about what's going on. Okay. 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 So, I mean, a chemtrail is just an accurate way of describing it. It's a chemical coming as a trail out behind a jet. Right. 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 And most people understand it rather than geoengineering. Right. 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 But if you word it that way, then it has validity. You know, I mean, that, like you're saying, if you type in geoengineering, it's different than if, like you're saying, if you type in it's chemtrail, they're automatically going to try to defend themselves with, oh, this is bullshit. But there's a billion chemtrail videos on YouTube. Right. Okay, so if you want to see them, 
and they've got the best of the best there. Okay. You really see what they can do. Wow. So every everybody again, this is just stuff right at your fingertips. These are this is stuff that you don't have to you know have a degree to find out. Oh, this is a gray plane. Like it looked like an army yes. style plane, nothing on it, just grayed out, and you just saw the chemical. And I was like, I was like, wow, what is this? She's like, yup, this is right going right up the coast, she said. Yeah. She I, was, I, was, I was up there, I was on the beach. Yeah. Same yeah. area that you would have seen this. Yeah. And I'm, I'm watching this chemtrail come over the beach, and I'm filming it because I know what this is. Right. And then I start to look in front of the plane, and there's a very faint black line in front of the plane. And the plane makes a, a turn, and the black line remains in front of the plane, yes. almost like it's beamed oh into the black beam. And, and I'll tell you, I, 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 met, I met him at, um, at the uh, bridge walkway this weekend. And I went there to film Larry Sharp, and y'all know we, how we follow Larry. But uh, it, it was awesome, and that's how he ends up on the show. But this is this is the I stuff. I was sitting in the parking lot with that, a sign. <laughs> sign. I said, oh, and I went right to the car, and I grabbed a card out of the car, and I said, "You need to give me a call, man. I gotta have you on my TV show." Uh, because no, because seriously, um, things that that the the things that people don't pay attention to are the things that are really killing us. All right, they're the things that are killing us. It's not the things that they're putting in our direction. If something's in your way, it's a smoke screen. It's a smoke screen to divert you from looking elsewhere. Please look at through the through your world through a wide open. Open look through your peripheral vision. Don't look through bottles. Well, I think also listen to your instincts. I think so yeah. many people are just you know pushing their own instincts to the side because they just are too afraid to believe in what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, they just don't want to face it. It's easier not to. Listen to your instincts because they are right. You, you know what I appreciate about having Dennis on the whole interview is Dennis is all he said is, "Here, man, look at there's where the information is. Go look at it. You know, yeah. like you know, like it's just that simple. You get it. Like you know what I mean. When people get stuff, you can prove like, stuff to yourself also. You know, the next time you have a blood test, just ask whoever's taking the blood test. I had this done last week with my doctor. It's as easy as pie. Tell them, check your aluminum level in your blood, your barium level in your blood, and your lithium level, and see what happens. I did this for the first time last year. Really? Nothing came back with the aluminum. I'm surprised about that. Okay. But barium came back over the normal level, and I said, well, how did I get that? I didn't have a barium enema. Right. <laughs> I didn't have a CAT scan with barium, right. you know, juice right. 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 There's no reason I should have had any barium. Yeah, you're, not aluminum. Aluminum. Yeah, you're not eating barium. Right. 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 So there you go, it's getting into your system and all of these things affect you. For example, barium has to do with your heart rate. Periodically my heart will start racing. I have no idea why. Right. I'm not doing anything. Right. A little bit gets into your system, it gets into your brain, your brain. and that's the Alzheimer's yes. we're dealing with. Okay? Yes. Lithium dumbs you down. It, strontium, I don't know why you're doing that, but there's cancer. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's a radioactive element. Have you saw the blood test, really? Yeah, yeah, it's it's well, worth it. Very good. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, last it's been year. there forever. <laughs> last year, I figured, okay, let me present it to them. What would you do? I'm talking to the general, whoever it is I'm talking to. What would you do if you saw an unidentified aircraft spraying stuff out the back of it? What's your response to that? Well, they took my license plate. I mean, they took my, my license. And they said the guy would get back to me. Nobody's ever gotten back to me, so I could ask that question. But you'd be damn well sure. They know what's going on about that. You know, I also stopped at the DEC last year. I saw that there was a car out in front of the DEC that said police. So I went in and I said, what do you police? And they said, well, we police environmental situations. I said, well, do you use it for policing the air? And they said, yeah, if there's people that are burning stuff and everything else. And I said, well, do you police in a case of chemtrails? And they looked at me like, what are you talking about? And I took the guy outside. I said, that, up in the sky. <laughs> so, you know, you try your best, but so many people don't know about it. And they don't believe it when they see it until they start seeing it enough. Until they start making X's in the sky like oh, that. Wow. Yeah. It's not normal. Yeah, it's not. And it's a scary, scary situation, that's for sure. Amongst many that we have <laughs> in this beautiful uh, 
That's the country we live in. Well, Dennis, I want to thank you for coming down. I, I, I thank, thank you for so 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 bringing information to the people because this is where it has to start. Absolutely. More of you have to, you know, take your head out of the, out of the uh, yes. telephone. Yes. When you walk in, okay, and look up in the sky. For Well, welcome back. I'm here with Christina Kroger. She is a tarot card reader and a medium, and she is going to read my cards really for the first time, but it's kind of, it, it is the second time because we did do this um, and uh, weren't successful in recording it. So this is going to be the first time you guys are seeing it. Although we first time successful that. in the Very movie. successful. I'm kind of so curious movie. today yeah. as to what's going to happen and how it's going to read. Are we going to pull the same cards or what? So let's get started. Okay. Right? And oh, let's, let's first, before we talk to you about uh, when you got started doing this. Oh, right. Um, I was hoping you would ask mm -hmm. that. And um, it's interesting uh, that I started at such a young age um, having an interest in tarot card mm -hmm. uh, readings, or tarot cards in, in general, mm -hmm. I should say, um, because I, I was so young. And I don't recall if I seen something in a magazine. Just something drew you to it. Book or yeah, something just drew me to it. Um, I don't remember. It's so long ago. Mm. Uh, but in any case, as throughout my teenage years, um, I started uh, practicing uh, more and more um, and, and getting to know uh, the cards better and, and mm -hmm. their meanings and, and trying to connect uh, with them and then started um, doing readings um, as a teenager for friends and family members wow. and, and things of that nature and uh, a lot of um, people would think that I am a witch or I'm into you know, well people who don't understand they're going to equate it to something that yes. they think they understand right like a I'm in some kind of cult or, or right, something. Cult or that <laughs> joining some kind of right, cult or right, right. Ridiculous, you know, that absurd. Ends up being something right. that's horrible. Mm -hmm, that people mm -hmm. end up dying or suffering mm -hmm. from being in some kind of crazy thing. Mm -hmm. and, and and no, no, I, I would never, never. So did, never do you would. do you have a website? No, I okay. don't at this time. But I do have. Uh, I use Facebook, so I do have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. It's Christina's Tarot Cards. Now there may be. Okay. Well, that'll that'll come up on on the bottom of this uh, of oh, the screen okay. as well. So we'll make sure that that's that's there for you for everybody to see. Right. Well, there may be Christina Kroger. Uh, what is it? It's Christina's it's, it's Tarot Christina's Cards on tarot Facebook. Cards and, and like I was going to say, there may be some other uh, Christina's Tarot Cards out there. There could be multiple people. I don't really know. And it's Christina with a K it's or a C? It's a C-H. And, okay. And you'll see me. I have a picture there mm -hmm. um, of myself. I mean, there's other pictures of like the cards and, um, you know, reviews, uh, five-star, you know, reviews and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You'll know it's me. There's certain things that would stand out that okay. if you're watching the show now and you look me up, it probably will come up. I'm, I'm going to assume, I think I might have looked once to see if there was anybody else. I don't think anybody else came up as mm -hmm. specifically as that. Yeah, well, if the name was Facebook, duplicated, you, right. it would come up and alert you. So Right. Um, so that should be fine in, in, in searching for me. Mm -hmm. um, I could even give my email right now. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to get in touch with me, it's, sure. it's uh, flowers are for me. Flowers one, are for me. 182. 182. At gmail.com. It's actually a full sentence. Okay, so there's a sentence. Okay, so the number, it's not a number four that's in there. No. Okay, it's the word for. Right. Correct. So it's flowers are for me, 182 at gmail.com. Okay. Pretty simple. Wonderful. And um, as for, I'm sorry, were you going to ask me something else as for trying to get in contact with me? Do you have other contact information? Um, that would be it. So that would be it. So, right and we'll, we'll have that on the bottom of the screen as well. We'll have your email and we'll have uh, facebook.com backslash Christina's Tarot Cards. Right. 
Okay, so so people, it'll it's easy enough to find, and uh, yeah, let me know and actually remind me, and I can help you set up other social media accounts. Yes, I would. Yeah, so and then we can link them together. I also have an app that you can put right on your phone that will help you advertise okay. your company, okay. so you can make little memes right, about right. it. So. That would be yeah, I look, I, I learned trial and error, you know, <laughs> I mean, and I just learned, you know, and, and I, as I went along, so believe me, I, I know. But let's get started. Okay, great. So uh, what I'm going to do for you is a full 10-card spread reading. Okay. I'm going to be doing a Celtic card spread. Now, um, there's a lot involved in the tarot cards. Some people do... Um, they, there's multiple decks out there. Okay. Just to give you some information on mm -hmm. on the cards, mm -hmm. uh, there are 78 cards in in the deck, and now okay. that goes for any tarot. Okay. Deck. Okay. So there's 78 cards. Uh, there's what they call minor arcana cards, as well as major arcana cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so uh, that, and then there's uh, different, um, uh, basically like. Uh, the pentacles uh, that's that's a suit and then there's cups and they, you know so there, there, there's so much involved there's symbols and, and things of that nature uh, but we might have to end up doing uh, another show um, to get more involved in sure the other yeah things yeah the absolutely part. because again there's so much Involved. We could There's even so have you as a know. reoccurring guest. That would be great. That would Thank be. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Okay, but let's get started yes, on, please. on your reading. Please. Now, um, I don't really ask too many questions. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of fakes and phonies out there, which I might have mentioned that to you once before. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You mm -hmm. know, they want to do whatever they want and they want to lie to people. Personally, how I work is I tell you the truth, mm -hmm. you like it or not. Mm -hmm. It's basically upfront and honest. Mm -hmm. And if I see something in the cards, that may not be something you wanted to hear mm -hmm. or know. I, I mean, it's just, I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. And and I've got people um, feedback that they'll, they'll say, you know, uh, and they get mad. And I'm like, well, they don't I, I, hear. I, I, I've seen, I literally seen your boyfriend in the car. Right, 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 right. People don't want to hear. You know, and you're, yeah. and, and it's funny because you're asking me well, something about Well, you have to understand, I think for, for some it might. be a red flag to me. But right. But for some it might be that you're holding up that mirror, you know, to them, like, here's your life. And some people, you know, they, it, and those are the people that need change. And that's a, another thing that Canada We Talk is about. So, right. you know, it, it's. It's all good, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm open. I'm, I'm a, glad you I am. mentioned that too. Yeah. Um, because we want people to be aware. aware of Look, if there's no personal do. growth, there's you're stagnant. What's the point? And, and what is it again to the viewers uh, that that it is again that that you guys are the the website. Our website yeah. is canawetalk420.com. Okay. Yeah. And and then and that's you guys educating about. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We educate about cannabis. We um, we we're just truth tellers about what's right. We live in a righteous manner with everything that we do. The choices that we make. It's it's beneficial for uh, everyone to live their and life you guys this this have way. Your own um, show. On, on here as well. Well, you're on it. Well, well, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moment that, in time, that wasn't was it? That was great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so all right, all right, ready? Well, let's get started anyway, mm -hmm. right? Okay, let's see what, what, what is in store here for you, Helen. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to have, uh, when I said store for you, Helen, what is in store? <laughs> Let's see. And really, the tarot cards are, um, you know, it's 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 guidance, okay. Mm -hmm. And nothing is written in stone mm -hmm. on this, um, you know. But however, from my experiences of reading the cards for many many years, um, th they do seem to be quite accurate, um, you know. But again, it's up to you. Um, you know, as, as the quarant to really, you know, follow along on 
what I, you know, I, I'm telling you mm -hmm. what I see. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, I'm just shuffling the cards here, and we're going to split the deck into three, and then what you're going to do for me is uh, we're going to, you're going to pick one of, one of the decks, okay? okay? And then we're going to lay them out, like I said, in a Celtic uh, cross spread, and that is going to be uh, ten, ten cards. Okay, so it looks like the deck is shuffled good. Right. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so uh, you're going to um, touch point whenever um, to, I don't really let people touch the mm -hmm. cards though too much uh because of the energy but you but it's fine um <laughs> that that deck mm -hmm. okay that deck of cards gotcha all right go and i'm going by with um how i i feel on which cards i'm laying out here which ones i'm gonna pick No cards dropped this time like last time. Oh uh, huh? no, no cards did drop out as of uh, the last time we did uh, the other reading. Oh. Oh. Spoke and a little too soon. soon. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That didn't fully drop. We're just gonna go. Okay. It may even be the same card that I kind of got a glimpse of, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna start flipping over the cards now. And I'm gonna t take a moment um, to pause and explain uh, a couple of cards I. Um, now the death card came no. up. Now that may be um, scary to you or or to the viewers. Oh my goodness, the death card came up. That must mean someone's going to die. You know. There is like you know stigma with things mm -hmm. and everything, and when it comes yeah, it to doesn't scare me. Readings, oh well, that's good because there's no need to be afraid mm -hmm. of it. Um, what it does entail is actually change, um, big change, mm -hmm. you know. And people don't like change. I do. Oh, well, that. <laughs> well, majority. Of people I like have change. Come to contact you on my life change so means like growth. That. So right. So this is good. It just shows, you know, transformation mm -hmm. that you're going through and everything. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to worry about that. Mm -hmm. So that, that, you know, that's fine. That's a good thing. And yeah, this is, nice. oh. So this is one of the cards that actually came up. Yeah, I, yesterday. Did you recognize Yes, it I actually? did. Yeah, Six of Cups. Is someone uh, coming in from uh, what I interpreted as your distant past, mm -hmm. that somebody would be coming back. Um, you know, like as a reunion, mm -hmm. it's most likely a, a friend you know, from childhood. Mm -hmm. um, this, the three of pentacles, anytime pentacles comes up, um, that usually indicates that there was some, uh, you know, financial finances in, involved. Mm -hmm. I think you got this card yesterday. I did. I did. Nine of swords. It was one of them. And, um, and you also did get the Queen of Pentacles. Funny because I shuffled the cards before we even mm -hmm. got. I got a lot of the same on cards. Stage here, and then I, I shuffled them again. Mm -hmm. So they were technically shuffled twice. So, <laughs> oh wow, Ace of Pentacles. Um, yeah, you you got a lot of um, financial. Uh, you got abundance coming in. You got prosperity. And abundance coming into your life and that's a big windfall windfall excuse me coming in and that's excellent so um, whatever you're doing um, you know stay on the path mm -hmm. that that you're going with and um, I do see that um, 
there's going to be a lot of potential for you. Um, you know, business opportunity uh, will continue, or you know, some something else may rise mm -hmm. that you weren't even expecting that mm -hmm. will come in as the you know abundance mm -hmm. and the prosperity. So that's coming in. Um, five of Pentacles. Um, what is this one? We go oh, I'm sorry. One? Yeah, we we I skipped over for for a second there. Got myself carried away with with the uh, the abundance. Um, the the magician card, and that that's an excellent card as well. Um, it, you know, it really seems like from the reading I did yesterday for you, mm -hmm. um, which I know it's back to back in the reading today, because usually what I try to do is space out the reading a little bit with someone, but it's it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But it really shows that you're on the right path on what you want to be doing. Okay. Uh, it really is showing you moving forward. I don't see anything going backwards at this time. Okay. Um, you know, full speed ahead, basically. I would like to see what these last two cards are. And, oh, we had this man come up the last time, mm -hmm. the King of Swords, and we discussed that he is usually a man that would be in your life that's, you know, um, around you. He's kind of firm. He's not the nicest of, of people. He's, eh, he's okay, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't really care for for that person mm -hmm. or card too much, um, but it's, it's something that you're obviously someone that you're dealing with. Um, you got the High Priestess, that's also a, a great card too. Um, is there anything that you would like to ask me? Because you can ask me something. Well, what does the I High Priestess prefer. mean? What is that? Well, you know, in, in different decks, she, she means different things. Um, I always uh, perceive this card to be uh, a twin, like a twin sister of another card in the deck that's the moon card. Now, if you were to have got the moon card, um, it would be, though, a little bit of a different meaning than this. It's two different cards anyway. Um, but I'm, I'm glad you didn't get the moon card because I don't really care for that card as much either. In my personal opinion, it usually could mean someone's talking about you behind your back and a negative. That stuff like that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I, I yeah, give it yeah, no yeah. time. Uh, you know, hidden enemies, things of that nature. Um, but I'm glad that. If they're an enemy and they have to hide, I'm not scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. But I'm glad, though, that we have the cards to see what's mm -hmm, going mm -hmm. on yeah. behind the scenes yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as for uh, the high priest, uh, priestess, it, in my opinion, I would say that, that uh, you're definitely getting um, more um, wisdom and knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, you're definitely educating yourself uh, with a lot of things. It, it's a very good card. Um, so it's nothing, nothing negative. We don't really see anything negative in this reading that, that I would except for the, that um, on, on here. But other than that... Um, we gotta figure a way to kick you to the curb. Yeah, really. We <laughs> gotta get rid of him because he's, he's a creep. Um, because, you know, he's sitting here, King of Swords on his throne. Oh, well, I don't know if it's a throne. But, uh, by the way, just uh, for curi out of curiosity mm -hmm. for... Uh, the viewers, if they wanted to know like how tarot cards uh, even came about, have a little bit of knowledge and history on that. Mm -hmm. um, I was told once that it could be as far as uh, the Egyptian days, but uh, most likely medieval times. Yes. Um, that was like a big thing, mm -hmm. primarily, you know, where king and queen, you know, sit at the table and then you have all this entertainment going on. Mm -hmm. And th that was, um, you know, a big thing in Europe. Uh, so it, there's a lot of history. Also, again, it, this would be another time, you know, to talk about, you know, more of the, the tarot cards. And okay. as I was saying with the suits, so pentacles and, and cups, and this would be considered a major arcana. A major... Card. 
um, arcana. Okay. Um, uh, minor arcana card would be this as an example. Of the queen so this is just basically telling me there's big change. Yes, but this could, from what I understand in, in readings I've done or, or researched, uh, that this this is something that could um, take up uh, possibly in time frame up to a year. Okay. Okay. Now doing the Celtic spread, this is this is more like in your future right here. Okay. Um, you know they go by kind of position. This is kind of almost. You know, it's funny that this is like in the past. Uh, kind of almost recent past position, although I see that the person coming back from, from your past, you haven't fully reconnected yet, mm -hmm. okay? And it may be somebody in, that you have in mind mm -hmm. that, you know, again, it, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll do a follow-up reading. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Um, I wanted to just say when we were doing the other reading yesterday mm -hmm. about how... Um, I was able to connect uh, with your friend who had which was passed crazy. On, which was crazy. Uh, I had mentioned I, that she was like, you know, spirit, you know, show, showed me, you know, sometimes they show me like objects mm -hmm. and colors and, and different things like that. And she had shown me a ring. Mm -hmm. And now I'm saying to you, Helen, what is that? Mm -hmm. Why why is she showing me a ring? And then come to Yeah, uh, it was it was very um, it was it was a very uh, interesting ordeal, I have to say. You, you had to be here to really to really witness um, what I'm talking about. But when she touched on the girlfriend of mine that had just recently passed away, I mean real recent, um, and said that she was feeling her around, we got a bunch of feedback coming through the mics that we, we weren't doing anything different. Yeah, Only when she was trying to really come in, when you were trying to really focus, we got all this feedback. Yeah. And, and uh, she did um, say, want me to know that she was okay. That was number one. She wanted yeah. me to know that she was okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, see now, it's funny that she says this because I can see Barb, okay? I can see her mm -hmm. and I see she's in a purple shirt, her hair is long, she's young. They always look like that. She's when young. They passed on from the other side. Yes. They look like sometimes even and 30 years younger. Yes. And in the be when I first like saw that. her was was when she first passed, and I came back from uh, North Carolina, and I was home at my house, and I was like, God, Pete, she's everywhere. You know, like she's all around me. You can even but she tell was she was well. happy and jumping and she almost kind of annoying. You know, like I was you, like, know, you know, I'm here. Yes. And then, Okay. Yes. My my friend Abu who passed back in March was doing that too. Back. It, it was you know and and I and look I'm very intuitive. I'm like I said I'm very open and I I I, I feel everything. So yes. and even when we got done yesterday, I told you I I yeah, wasn't right. I, it threw me off. It kind of you know I was. It, it, it took a toll on me yesterday's reading. Well, you know, this is today's energy. yes, with energy. We're yes, with each other's energy yes. right now. We're dealing with the you know the energy. So, but yeah, uh, Barb had had come to you and said yes. that that yes. she uh, um, something about some, a ring. Yeah, I mean, I and I did point. ask her husband, and he said that uh, when she passed, he had taken her ring, separated it gave the diamond part to his daughter and took the ring part, put it around his neck, he said, and that's when he felt his pain just, you know, kind of, it was, it was like, put it, he put it on his neck and it, and, it, and it just kind of lifted, you know, like she was there, now her circle, you know, of, of energy is there with him and he felt that. So, very cool it thing to- It would be to, such a random thing for me to have just said, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it could have been anything. It could have been a, like, a wallet. <laughs> it could have been anything. And, and it's kind of... It, it, yeah, so that was really and cool to know. And the other thing was, when I was doing the other reading, how I laid out a card called the chariot card. Yes. And I was like... That's transportation. Like, yeah, new vehicle. And yeah. I was like, it looks like you're going to be getting... Which I had car. just contacted that morning, yesterday morning, again, contacted the dealership to say, hey, we were working on a deal a couple yes. months ago. I'm ready to, to start that deal. <laughs>
Yeah, it was it was it was wonderful. But yeah, it was wonderful. But I thank you so much. And I thank you. And uh, again, we will. Um, you will see. You can you can reach out to Chrissy on yeah. uh, Facebook, and um, and her email will also be running across the bottom of the screen. So please write that down. And it was my pleasure, and we will have you back again. Yes, and I thank I you just, so much. Thank you very much. I just want to let everybody know that um, they're more than welcome to contact me with any questions mm -hmm. or concerns they may have.